Hi everybody, we are Tim and Shannon. We are so excited that you guys joined us today because we have a surprise for you. For those of you that have been following us, you already know that this is Rigby, our self-converted sprinter van. For those of you who don't know about us, we're a van life couple that has been living in our van for two and a half years. We've been traveling around the United States and yeah having an adventure so this is a 2018 sprinter worker cargo van we bought it brand new at the end of 2018 it's a 170 inch wheelbase when we bought it it was completely empty on the inside just ready for us to start getting to work and so we converted it ourselves and we did a fair number of videos of projects as we were converting. So every one of these links to these videos will be in the description listed below this video, or you can just look on our channel and click through them that way. But anyway, we have a van tour. We'd like to get started. So we're pretty avid bikers. We designed the van pretty much around being able to carry our bikes. So first thing we'd like to show you is the garage. All right, we have a sliding aluminum heavy duty bike tray. It's mounted on 500 pound locking drawer slides. And right now we have two mountain bikes on it. It will actually hold four bikes at a time. We also have two street bikes but we didn't bring them with us on this particular trip so we just got some other stuff on here but this has been a great upgrade from our original bike tray makes it so easy to get the bikes in and out behind the bike tray on the on the wall there we have our electrical system we have a 3000 watt inverter we have four 100 amp hour lithium ion batteries and we have a solar charge controller so two of the batteries are right there on top of the wheel well which is in that plywood box and then on the floor forward of that there's two more lithium ion batteries in that plywood box and above them you see a big plywood box hanging off the back of the bulkhead that is kitchen storage which we will get to in a minute when we get inside the van but let's take a look on the other side here we also have a heavy duty aluminum sliding cargo tray on 500 pound locking drawer slides. This is just where we keep all kinds of random stuff that you would find in any garage. We got tools, we've got a, I call this my hardware store and just basic stuff for van life. On the right hand side behind that on the floor, we have our 22 gallon water tank. Above that we have some storage and forward of that, we have our water heater, two and a half gallons, and we have our water pump and accumulator tank, which keeps our water system pressurized. Back here on the back doors, this was an upgrade we added not too long ago. These are closet organizers. This is something you would normally open your closet door in your bedroom and you would hang this part of the thing right over your closet door. These hooks would be facing the other direction and you would have places to hang your bathrobe or your towels or whatever. We just simply removed the screws and put these hooks facing on this side instead and then just drilled some holes and ran some sheet metal screws into the door and it just works great for holding things in the back of the van. We have one of those on each side. Our electrical system is 400 amp hours of lithium ion batteries. Those can be charged from the vehicle's alternator when we're driving down the road, or they can be charged from four 100 watt solar panels on the roof, or they can be charged by shore power. So like if we pull into a campground or an RV park or something like that where they have 30 amp service, we just plug this guy in and that'll charge the batteries. In addition to that, we also have an adapter so that we can plug this onto our 30 amp feed and now we can plug into any ordinary outlet and then we've just got things hanging in here we got some fishing poles hanging we've got this we've got an extension cord we have our water hose uh, and every one of these is held in place with these velcro straps these are wonderful things if you've not seen these before they will really help you organize your garage we've got them all over the van we love them this is where we fill our water. So we unscrew this. 
and we just put the end of our garden hose into here and it just goes water goes right through there and fills up our water tank so that's pretty much it for the garage all right so we'll go take a look inside but first i want to show you a couple things out here first of all this is the rail that our sliding door rolls on and we added a door stop right here and let me show you how that works that rolls and holds the door halfway which is really nice because it seems anytime we park anywhere and we want the door open we seem to usually be on an incline which makes the door want to slide shut <laughs> just like that so this is a real nice thing that holds the door open plus you can push past it and go all the way open like that and then the the van itself has a latch that holds it so but that was a real nice simple little upgrade we did to keep the door open really good when you're at the grocery store and you want to throw groceries in or whatever without having rain pouring inside your van also we have an awning that we made this was a real simple thing uh, we used a couple of light stands these are photographic light stands we have just a regular tarp um, we have some paracord some stakes so it's it's a pretty nice awning it's pretty simple and less than a hundred bucks then coming over here the first thing you see when we open the door all the way is a folding table this is great when the weather's nice outside we can do some cooking out here we can just put stuff on it's a good table to have all right one of the first things i want to show you is the bedroom so follow me in this way when we were planning and designing the van the bed became one of the critical factors so we chose our mattress first and then again built our bed around how this was going to work. We wanted our bed lengthwise like this because we could, um, Tim's a little bit taller than me and he needed the room uh, to stretch out. So we used up the space here. So our mattress is an eight inch RV uh, latex foam mattress and it comes from plushbeds.com and we will link to that. This is a box that we made out of plywood and it doubles as a pantry so we store all our food in here and it also doubles as a step stool so this is how we get up into bed so I want to show you some interesting things about our bedroom we have 12 volt LED reading lights that we put in and we have these um, crocheted hammocks that we can store extra stuff that's easy to reach that's why i like that also we have space around our bed that we can also store stuff so you can see i'm kind of a a book hoarder um, also there's a bookshelf right here and I got more books so one of the things I used to repeat and tell our kids growing up was you should love your bed make sure you spend money on your bed because you spend eight hours out of every day in your bed so that was one of the things oh yeah and I said make sure you love your job too because you spend another eight hours of your day there and then the rest just comes together so you've seen the pantry how we get up there also we have a storage area which you saw from the garage and this is where we store pots and pans and some storage um, containers and stuff fry pans over here is our electrical panel this is where we have our circuit breakers for stuff and also the 12 volt fuses. This is our Dometic refrigerator. And this we put, um, we built this container uh, out of wood. 
to keep it elevated so it's super easy to access. This is so much fun. So all our stuff here in the fridge and we can just put it over here on the countertop. Makes it super easy. We've got storage underneath for extra things. That's kind of rotating <laughs> as we collect things and get rid of things. It changes its uh, configuration there. Now over to the kitchen. Uh, we got a towel handlebar here, paper towel holder here. This is a metal print that my son gave me for my birthday because um, he knows I love jellyfish. And that's kind of nice because it's a kind of a backsplash. It keeps because um, you can just wipe it down. Uh, so if it gets wet, you just wipe it down. Uh, this is our, um, I think it's a Fister faucet. And it is three-way, so it's got hot water back this way, or regular water this way, or filtered water this way. So under the sink, we've got the dual filters for the water filtration. And we've got an extra five-gallon jug of water. Behind that is a five gallon container to hold our gray water. And it's got some food grade hose that goes from there. And then some storage of different like cleaning things and yeah. This is our countertop. It is a butcher block made out of walnut. And last year we had the opportunity to varnish it, sand it and varnish it. And it has held up so nice, I think. It actually got like four coats, but it's beautiful and it works awesome. So here's the kitchen drawers. They're on some of these um, slides. Holds all of our, our goodies and our stuff. And then um, when we built this counter, we built it specifically so that it would hold the microwave and I wasn't at first set on the microwave in fact I was thinking that was going to be too um, elaborate but I am so glad that Tim convinced me we needed the microwave because it is something we use every day in this drawer holds our induction cooktop along with some other storage items here and if you saw our original van build video, you'll know that this is a little different, but um, sometimes you just have to upgrade. So we did. All right. Below here, this was originally made for our countertop oven, but that has since hit the garbage. And now it is just uh, storage space. Back over on this side, this is a bench seat and we got this cushion which makes it really nice again because this is made out of plywood but this doubles as something else let me show you this is our composting toilet i'm very proud of this thing this uh, is a regular toilet seat that sits on top of a urine diverter so we've got solids going one way and urine go in the other this over here is like storage area for like toilet paper things like that um wood shavings because that's what we use now for the solids and voila be sure to check out the description below because we have added plans how to make the composting toilet and if you checked out our video on the composting toilet how to build it we were using at the time peat moss for the solids and we got a lot of comments about how that's really not a sustainable practice and so we have since changed to pine shavings. Just forward of the toilet bench seat we have our dining room table and this is on a swivel. This is a lagoon table mount. You've probably heard of those. It goes up and down. It swivels. It's always good in a confined space like this to have things that move around as needed. And then 
we have swivel seats. So when it's dinner time, one of us sits here, the other sits there, and we have a nice meal. It's also a good place for a computer workstation or whatever. This is pretty much our living room as well. One of the things that happened when we put the swivel seat adapters on is it raised the seats a couple of inches, which even for me, being taller than Shannon, my feet don't quite hit the floor. So we originally had these wooden boxes that we just put our feet on, but then we thought, wait a minute, we're wasting a lot of space. So this is an upgrade we made recently. And this is just some storage that also doubles as a footrest. So we keep some things under here. And it's been a, a great addition for storage in here. Right up here we have a headliner shelf. We got this uh, kit from Vancelary. Um, I modified it a little bit by putting this aluminum bracket on here. You can't see it, but if you look at the video linked above, you'll see that I put an aluminum bracket. I also put some pipe insulation, and this was a real good thing. I wasn't sure it would be important, but I've hit my head on this so many times. I'm so glad that I put that foam rubber on there. But a good thing for lots of storage of just random stuff. We also built overhead cabinets. These are open face or open frame and they're basically just shelves and we bought a bunch of these fabric storage boxes and this is where we store our clothing and some other random stuff. We have them on this side of the van and over the sink here. In the ceiling here, we have a Max Air vent fan. It's a seven speed. We can open and close the vent. We can turn it on and off with a push button and it's reversible. We have one here. We also have one over the head of the bed. And one thing that's good to do with these when it gets really warm out is turn one on one direction, the other one the other direction, and you can get airflow blowing in through one and out through the other. In addition to that, one of the very first things we did with our van was cut holes in the side and we put these windows in. These are motion windows, sliding windows. They have a screen. You can also open the screen if you want. So we have one here on the driver's side. There is also one on the sliding door. Right here. Up around the door, we have a bunch of these magnets. These are just bar magnets. Uh, neodymium, they're very strong. We also have some Velcro kind of strategically located. This is all for our bug screen which you can see in the video linked. Um, so all these magnets and the Velcro are what holds our bug screen up. These right here are just some random magnets that we, we keep around. We use them for all kinds of various different things. These ones have not found a use yet, but they're just sitting here ready to be used. Right here we have a wood panel. It's a plywood panel. It's been varnished. And if you ever watched our first van built, our van tour video, I didn't even notice until that video had been up for about a month and we had quite a few views at that point. After a month I realized, oh, there's there's cardboard duct taped up to the van. <laughs> so, whoops. So that was kind of embarrassing and I almost took the video down because of that, but it was getting some good views and so I wanted to keep it up there. But anyway, we finally replaced that. Actually, it was pretty soon after that. We replaced that with this varnished plywood this is what we used to have on the van itself. This was our legal license plate, but we decided we wanted to be a little bit more stealth. We didn't want the name of our van out there. So anyway, and then we've got stickers of a lot of our favorite places that we've been to. Right here we have our light switch. This is a dimmer switch, 12 volt dimmer, and it brightens and dims our lights. One of the first upgrades we did to our van was to install a diesel heater under the passenger seat here. 
So in the pedestal, we have an SBAR D2 diesel heater. It feeds off the same fuel tank as the van's engine. So we have one fuel source to both get us where we need to go and also to keep us warm. Just last winter, we were staying at a ski resort overnight in the parking lot. It was about 7,000 feet of elevation and the temperature got to 10 below zero Fahrenheit. And this thing kept us toasty warm in the van. So one of the purchases that we made were these window coverings from Adventure Van Company. They're really great. I decided to go ahead and um, purchase them because the front windows, it just seemed like a too big of a job. However, and they work great for that. We did do it yourself window coverings for the side windows thanks to our sister-in-law Jan who helped us with this and this one you can see because we've got the window trim here it just fits in so nice we don't have to have any kind of attachment to keep it in place the other one however because there is no wood lip to it She came up with the idea, which is brilliant, with these little black tabs with magnets in them. So it fits over the window like this and voila. And just recently, you know, if you don't like the material you originally picked out, go grab some more material. And then I just sewed on this new piece of material and we've got a different backdrop now. It's very cool. So that's our van. We hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. That would sure help us out and subscribe as well. And then after you're subscribed, if you ring the little bell down there, it'll notify you anytime we put up a new video because we will be putting up a lot of van life videos now. Rigby's pretty much built out, so it's time to transition this channel towards van life instead of van built. Oh, and the other thing is, keep giving us comments. We love the comments. We love hearing about what you're doing. And yeah, keep it coming at us. We a love it. Absolutely, I'm glad you said that. If you have any questions about this build or your own build, we'd love to tell you what we know or try to share some thought process or problem solving or whatever love to help you out if we could so thanks again we'll Bye. see you next time hi everybody we are tim and shannon and we're so excited <laughs> that's not when i was going to cut in well when are when are you going to cut in after you do your little spiel this is a dimmer switch 12 volt dimmer and it brightens and dimmens our light brightens and dimmens <laughs> So our electrical system is 400 amp hours of battery power. Um, we can charge that either from the vehicle's alternator when we're driving down the road, or we have four 100 watt, or we have four 100 watt, or they can be charged from 400 watt. Also, we have four 100 watt solar. <laughs> Why can't I say solar? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to get it this time. So, thanks for joining! <laughs> <laughs>